On March 6, 2023, on Fox News' Tucker Carlson show, as we all know the present most famous presenter of Fox News. Tucker Carlson released a series of clips that are part of over 44,000 hours of surveillance tapes from January 6 that he obtained from U.S. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Today we will cover other important factors and questions that need to be answered after released by Tucker Carlson shows bombshell video, proves January 6 which Hunt Committee knew Ray Epps lied in sworn testimony. Welcome to Team Ivanka Trump YouTube channel. Before going into the details of today's content, let's go to Truth Social. President Trump reacts to new January 6th footage, new video footage is irrefutable. The establishment's phony January 6th narrative is unraveling. Tucker Carlson released footage showing the QAnon shaman being escorted through the Capitol by police the entire time he was in the building. Donald Trump responded on Truth with multiple posts. Congratulations to Tucker Carlson on one of the biggest scoops as a reporter in U.S. history. The new surveillance footage of the January 6 events sheds an entirely different light on what actually happened. The unselect committee was a giant scam and has now unequivocally been stamped as criminal fabricators of this most important day. Pelosi McConnell failed on security. The police story is sad and difficult to watch. Trump and most others are totally innocent, let them go free, now. According to Trending Politics reported, never-before-seen bombshell video of January 6 shows Jacob Chansley, the QAnon shaman, being escorted through the Capitol by police the entire time that he was in the building. The footage was obtained and aired by Tucker Carlson on his primetime show, Tucker said that Chansley had been described as a dangerous conspiracy theorist dressed in outlandish costume who led the violent insurrection to overthrow American democracy for these crimes. Chansley was sentenced to nearly four years in prison, he added. Far more time than many violent criminals now receive. What did Jacob Chanley do to receive this punishment? He continued. To this day, there is dispute over how Chanley got into the Capitol building but according to our review of the internal surveillance video, it is very clear what happened once he got inside, whereas what we see the difference is that the Democrats are being scared. What are they afraid of? Are they afraid what the American people will know the truth about all the lies from the January 6th committee that will be exposed by Tucker Carson? Watch a speech from Senate Majority Leader Senator Chuck Schumer. Full hours we have ever seen on cable television. Fox News host Tucker Carlson ran a lengthy segment last night arguing the January 6th Capitol attack was not a violent insurrection. I don't think I've ever seen a primetime cable news anchor manipulate his viewers the way Mr. Carlson did last night. I don't think I've ever seen an anchor treat the American people and American democracy with such disdain. <laughs> We come back to today's main headline, review the congressional hearings and Ray Epps lied in sworn testimony, why are the Democrats covering up for Ray Epps? Who is Ray Epps, and why do the Democrats and the DOJ appear to have his back? On October 21, 2021, Representative Thomas Massey, Republican Kentucky, showed an interesting video while questioning Attorney General Merrick Garland. The video included a montage of clips showing Ray Epps, an alleged Trump supporter, inciting people on January 5th and again on January 6th to breach the Capitol. There's a concern that there were agents of the government or assets of the government present on January 5th and January 6th. Uh, during the protests, and uh, I've got some pictures that I want to show you, if the uh, my staff could bring those to you. I'm afraid I can't see that at all. It's the picture. Yeah, 
that uh, is that a uh, approved video? All right, you have you have those images there, and they're captioned. Uh, they were from January 5th and January 6th. As far as we can determine, the individual who was saying he'll probably go to jail, he'll probably be arrested, but he wants every, but they need to go into the Capitol the next day, is then the next day directing people to the Capitol. And as far as we can find, this individual has not been charged with anything. You said this is one of the most sweeping investigations in history. Uh, have you seen that video or those frames from that video? So as I um, uh, said at the outset, uh, one of the norms of the Justice Department is to not comment on impending investigations and particularly not to comment about uh, particular scenes or particular individuals. This okay, is without, I, I was hoping today to give you an opportunity to put to rest the concerns that people have that there were federal agents or assets of the federal government present on January 5th and January 6th can you tell us, without talking about particular incidents or particular videos, how many agents or assets of the federal government were present on January 6th, whether they agitated to go into the Capitol, and if any of them did? So I'm not going to violate this norm of, uh, of, of uh, the rule of law. I'm not going to comment on an investigation that's ongoing. Only five days after the so-called insurrection, Arizona Central reported that the man seen in the video was allegedly from Arizona. The article shares several videos of the Make a Hat Man who called for Trump supporters to join him on January 6 to go inside the Capitol. All but one of the accounts that posted the videos have been removed from YouTube, Instagram and DLive TV. On January 11, 2022, during a U.S. Senate Judiciary Committee hearing, Senator Ted Cruz, Republican Texas, exposed how the FBI is potentially covering for Ray Epps when he asked FBI National Security Branch Executive Assistant Director Jill Sanborn whether or not FBI agents or confidential informants played a role in the January 6, 2021, capital incident that Democrats and their allies in the media have labeled an insurrection and domestic terror attack. Did any FBI agents or confidential informants actively participate in the events of January 6? Yes or no? Senator Cruz asked. Any FBI agents or confidential informants commit crimes of violence on January 6th? I can't answer that, sir. Did any FBI agents or FBI informants actively encourage and incite crimes of violence on January 6th? Sir, I can't answer that. Ms. Sadburn, who is Ray Epps? I'm aware of the individual, sir. Uh, I don't have the specific background to him. Well, there are a lot of well, people who are understandably very concerned, about, concerned Mr. about Mr. Epps. On the night of January 5th, 2021, Epps wandered around the crowd that had gathered, and there's video out there of him chanting, tomorrow, we need to get into the Capitol, into the Capitol. This was strange behavior, so strange, that the crowd began chanting, Fed, 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 Fed. Ms. Sanborn, was Ray Epps a Fed? Sir, I cannot answer that question. The next day, the next day, on January 6th, Mr. Epps is seen whispering to a person, and five seconds later, five seconds after he's whispering to a person, that same person begins to forcibly tear down the barricades. Did Mr. Epps urge them to tear down the barricades. Sir, similar to the other answers, I cannot answer that. Shortly thereafter, the FBI put out a public post listing, seeking information on individuals connected with violent crimes on January 6th. Among those individuals in the bottom there is Mr. Epps. The FBI publicly asked for information identifying, offering cash rewards leading to information, leading to, for information leading to the arrest. This was posted and then sometime later, magically, Mr. Epps disappeared from the public posting. According to public records, Mr. Epps has not been charged with anything. No one's explained why a person videoed urging people to go to the Capitol, a person whose conduct was so suspect the crowd believed he was a Fed, 
would magically disappear from the list of people the FBI was looking at. Ms. Sanborn, a lot of Americans are concerned that the federal government deliberately encouraged illegal and violent conduct on January 6th. My question to you, and this is, a, this is not an ordinary law enforcement question, this is a question of a public accountability. Did federal agents or those in service of federal agent actively encourage violent and criminal conduct on January 6th? Not to my knowledge, sir. Thank you. According to Tucker Carson reported on March 6th, if there's one takeaway from the footage that we spent six weeks looking at, it is that the January 5th committee lied, its members are liars, Tucker said at the beginning of his segment on Ray Epps. Federal agents in the crowd at the Capitol. Officials have since admitted that under oath. But what exactly were they doing there? The January 6th committee worked hard to hide the answer to that question. We do know from contemporaneous videotape that a mysterious figure called Ray Epps encouraged the crowd to go into the Capitol. For some reason, Epps has never been indicted for that. But there's no question he did it. We need to go into the Capitol! Under public pressure, the January 6th committee finally interviewed Ray Epps. Epps told the committee that he never entered the Capitol and therefore never committed a crime. His text messages showed that at 2.12 p.m., he boasted to his nephew that he had, quote, orchestrated the protests at the Capitol. He admitted he helped get people there. Yet, curiously, congressional Democrats consider Ray Epps an ally, not an insurrectionist. Tonight, we can tell you that at the very least, Ray Epps lied in his sworn testimony to the January 6th committee. Epps testified that when he sent the text messages to his nephew, he had already left the Capitol grounds to return to his hotel room. That is not true. The surveillance footage we found shows that, in fact, Ray Epps remained at the Capitol for at least another half an hour. You're seeing that on your screen now. What was Epps doing there? We can't say. But we do know that he lied to investigators. The January 6th committee likely knew this, too. Democrats had access to the same tape, yet they defended Ray Epps. No honest investigation would do that. Tucker Carlson is about to destroy the credibility of every member of the January 6th witch hunt committee. America must pray that the release of Tucker's videos will expose the evil people on the January 6th witch hunt committee who have no trouble sleeping at night, knowing that they are the reason innocent people are rotting away in gulags across America. We must also pray for the safety of the prisoners and that, despite the politically motivated judges overseeing their cases, the January 6th prisoners receive fair and speedy trials. Thanks for watching, like, comment. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell to support Team Ivanka Trump. Thank you so much.